A Johannesburg actress has discovered how drama and theatre can be used to improve the quality of our children's education. Lali Dangazele and her group of actors take classroom subjects and act them out in a way that's fun and easy to understand. In just three years, this award-winning entrepreneur has worked with more than 10,000 students countrywide, getting them excited about their studies. Even when she was growing up, Lali Dangazele knew she was born to be on stage. When I studied drama initially, I just wanted to be a thespian and be on your rhythm cities and stuff. And she made it sooner than she'd expected. So when I got cast in Rhythm City in 2008, while I was still at Varsity, I was like, yay, you know, because it was one of my first big roles. Hey. Hey. I'm such a fool. No, you're not. I am. She's become a familiar face to ETV viewers playing the role of Nkensani. Just put my trust in her, you no, know? No, 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 no. But out of her passion for drama and theatre, something new emerged, something that would help South African students. It all started when Lali and her university classmates were given an interesting task. We were asked to do something for schools but make it fun and interactive. So I went back to my old high school and asked them what are they struggling with and they were struggling with Richard III. And I thought, but that's a Shakespeare. How can you guys struggle with Shakespeare when I do it at Wits? She gathered a team of actors from Wits University and headed back to her old school. We used the play as opposed to a set work, but rather focusing on it as a play. So looking at characters, asking the, the learners to act out Richard the Third, and we had debates, we had a dance competition, we did your um, image theater using tableaus, and the learners' marks increased from the workshop that I had given. The positive result gave Lali a new perspective. She saw how drama could be used creatively to contribute in solving some of the country's education problems. The young actress took the idea and turned it into a business model. Lali and her team now take classroom lessons and act them out in a way that's easy for learners to understand. Okay. Firstly, we do an extensive research of what are the challenges facing the learners. We then take that and create um, a basic um, diagnostic report that assesses where the challenges are. Then that's what guides us in choosing which set works we want to do and which aspect of maths or science we want to do. We do a production. In the production, we allow for the learners to get excited um, and watch what it is that they need to understand. This process is followed by a workshop that consolidates what students have learned from the theatre piece. The children battle with Shakespeare especially because it's like a foreign language to them. It's like learning Swahili or Timbuktuian or something. And I just find that to um, transfer the idea of drama and being out there is quite difficult and what Lali has done with Shakespeareans and with the Applied Theatre has actually created a forum where the children can interact with each other without the threat of looking like idiots. It has really helped me because now I know how to answer my literature properly now and I know how to understand it and how to just put it into context and because I have participated physically in it. Starting with no more than 40 learners, Lali has now reached up to 10,000 students across the country. Her hard work was recently recognized, winning her a lucrative SAB Kickstart Award. With the learner and the education system from the bottom to the top. It starts with the school shoes 
that cover the souls of the learners. From humble beginnings in Soweto, the 28-year-old now gets to speak on platforms that allow her to share her ideas with influential local leaders. She also travels around the world talking about the work she does. It started with my mom insisting that I must MC my little sister's birthday and I fumbled my way through at home but now I'm able to stand on a global stage and speak at international conferences. As a vehicle that out of a friction as well as a collision. Now that Lali's idea has been a great success in schools, she's taken it to the corporate world to help people in the workplace. Thanks for watching. Let's do this again next week. My name is Paula Gaji. Cheers.